If a personal computer has the capability to launch a rocket, why not? Knowledge is great, but it's worthless unless you can apply it and do something with it. So we're actually going to take all the knowledge you guys have as a collective group um, and we're going to apply it to build a rocket. The original Apollo mission had less processing power than what can be delivered by the Sony and Intel technology. They had buildings of computers that had the equivalent processing power, maybe a little less than what's sitting in your lap right now. There's a technology story, which is what we bring to the table, but there's the human story. Last time I mixed epoxy, it was not this size. <laughs> Okay, yeah. A project like this really needs a group of people that have a creative drive and energy in them, and also the desire not to just deal with something in an abstract fashion, but deal with something that has to work in the real world. It's the ultimate creative challenge. Kids are not encumbered by all the biases all of us adults are. We're bound by limitations, we're bound by rules. This one's my favorite. Fish in the sky and all the hot air balloons. They let the world run free in their imaginations. It's complicated for kids today. Our society puts so much pressure on them to be good at everything and all things. And we always will make that one mistake and everything will go wrong. That's the thing with rockets. You only have a one shot. It has a chance to either explode, kaboom, go like this. or go up into the sky and run the most spectacular things we have ever seen. <laughs> that thing, and it's just like, where'd it go? <laughs> You're enabling their dreams to be achieved through the latest and greatest technology that both Sony and Intel are bringing to the table. What we find is that the achievement of the goal is almost anticlimactic. The journey towards that goal, the hardships that are encountered, the friendships that are built, that's what's important. That's what becomes really gratifying.